What a way to start the week. Congratulations. We're going to say goodbye to James, too. We'll be seeing him again, folks. Take care. So long. There it is. All good things must come to an end. And tonight, the run of Jeopardy! James is over. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Denise Valdez. James Holzhauer captivated Jeopardy! watchers with his big bets and Vegas strong remembrances. But tonight, he met his match. Eight News Now, Sherry Swentz got a chance to sit down with James at his home and reflect on this crazy journey. Correct. His wager, a modest one for the first time. If you came up with a correct response, you're going to be the new Jeopardy! champion. Did you? You did. What did you wager? Oh, gosh, 20,000. What a payday. Odds are it was a finish millions of Jeopardy! viewers didn't bet on for Jeopardy! James Holtzauer. What a way to start the week. Who was in the hunt for setting the all time record winnings in the least amount of games for the popular game show. I did expect to do pretty well when I was on the show, but I thought maybe I could win six, seven episodes. It's certainly not 32, and certainly not this level of money. Uh, gosh, it was really mind blowing. Emma Betcher, this young lady, is a librarian from Chicago. If I had to go out, I really wanted to go out against a top player who beat me in a straight up contest. 32 games of mind blowing risky bets and right answers racked up a final second place grand total of $2,464,000. James has become a Jeopardy phenomenon. The amount of attention it's gotten has surprised me. Once the uh, introductions started getting into the millions of dollars won, I think you can see me. My honest reactions of uh, things like this are whew, they, uh, <laughs> as they read off the money. James. What is the Astrodome? Yes. So, Lefties what eight. was his secret ace in the hole? I'd say the biggest preparation was the buzzer, but. Uh, you know, just kind of keeping it in my head that, like, hey, this is a this is a game. It's just gambling. It's just what you do at work. Holzhauer says his signature moves were not always by the Jeopardy rule book either. I liked it as an opportunity to let my personality shine out there. And viewers loved it. The more he won, the bigger the following. And what about not beating Ken Jennings for the all-time number one spot at just over two and a half million? I'm no less proud of myself than I would have been if I had uh, made it there. What James didn't know was that today was his Jeopardy payday, and I had the honor of showing him the money. I can't tell you how privileged I am to have this honor after watching you for 33 games. It's absolutely our privilege from 8 News Now to present you your check for over $2 million and say congratulations. You have more than earned that check, and we are so proud of you. Thank you, Shay. And the final Jeopardy question has two parts. Has he changed the game forever, and will he always be known as Jeopardy James? I think among the, uh, the people that know me best, I will go back to being James or Uncle Jamie to my nieces and nephews. There's going to be a segment of the population out there that doesn't forget about this. I don't think that I've changed the game of Jeopardy forever, but I guess I'll have to watch future episodes and see if everyone is playing this style now. Las Vegas, thank you for the support. It's been a great ride. Go Knights, go. Sherry Swensk, 8 News Now. And after tonight's episode aired in Las Vegas, James hopped on Twitter and posted to everyone, thanks for the support and remember to be good humans.